All right, Tony, uh, you just passed the PMP a little while ago. How do you feel, man? Awesome. Totally awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. So you had like a short journey like to get through it. So why don't you walk us through kind of your path to get your PMP, if you don't mind? Sure. So <clears throat> um, there, we have a uh, something at work that requires uh, this certification. And I, some years ago, 2016, I had taken the test and failed it. And, um, and so now I'm back in the hopper, but I knew uh, that I couldn't do it the old way because it just didn't work for me then. And I couldn't see it working for me now. So um, I was headed down to Carolina on a trip uh, to take care of some relatives. And I says, I got to make good use of this time. And so I tried to find a uh, podcast, I think it was, and I found one on you. <laughs> and so on this, this, uh, this program. And so I listened to it on the way down and I said, that's what I need. <laughs> And so uh, at that point, I came back and reached out to you and, and we connected and the rest is kind of history. So That's awesome. So let's talk. Let's go to the negative side first. So like with the traditional training, like what was it like for you? Why, why did it not work? Stuff like that. Well, because uh, it, it was a lot of what you uh, required us to commit to not doing in this program. Okay. That really was kind of a turn off. I mean, to be honest with you. So. Uh, you know, rote memorization on a large scale, on a mass scale, just very unappealing, very ineffective. Yeah. Um, and the whole uh, I did the, uh, you know, a million test questions random and and, you know, it just still didn't. And then and then on top of all that, when I got to the test, it's like this is nothing like what I studied or prepared for. <laughs> and so Terrible. it's like, man. And so I, 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 you know, I, I powered through it, I finished it, um, and it just I said, you know, at that point, I knew I had to try again. But as you can see, it took me some time, about five years, and yeah. and so the fire was lit underneath me. And I said, okay, fine, got to do it again. I'm not going to do it the old way. It was totally ineffective. And so, and I just started searching. And again, that's when I found you. Right on. And so when you got in, I remember a Saturday or so you got in, and I just called you. And we talked. But then, like, um, what did you like about the program? Like, was it the videos, the way we teach, the uh, coaching call? Like, what, what, what resonated with you? So um, I'm, I'm a prior instructor in the Navy twice. Mm -hmm. and, and so when I listen to your approach and I listen to, you know, your, your, uh, your focus on understanding and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, your, your mantra, and I love it about, you know, you're not going to take a million random test questions. I want to squeeze all the goodness out of every question. And mm -hmm. so that was kind of where it, it was my sweet spot where I were when I was an instructor. That's the kind of understanding I wanted my students to take away from our interaction. And so that part in and of itself was very appealing. Uh, and just the fact that you, you know, you, I, well, and of course, the testimonials, uh, listening mm -hmm. yeah. to others who, you know, went the same path that I did, failed it and then tried and then your own story as well. So uh, all of those things really, really appealed to me and, and really made this uh, this this whole program very attractive to me because it was uh, I, I guess you might even call it the antithesis or antithesis of, of the old way of how yeah. not to do it. That just didn't work. So. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, and then like as you go through it, like you're an experienced project manager. So, I mean, you're coming with you know, experience, you're coming with know-how, like you know how to do this stuff. So as you went through that, do you feel like some of the, like the skills have been sharpened up or, or how does it, was it just like, what do you think now that you're, you're out and you're back uh, running things? Well, uh, e even before I got on the, the uh, backside of the exam, the whole process felt good because mm -hmm. you, you uh, advocated very strongly that, do not, and this is part of the old way, and I've, yeah. I've drank the Kool-Aid, and it's like, okay, you know how to do this, Tony, now forget about all of that and learn it the PM Bach way. And so yeah. what was what really helped me and you know, helped hone my skills is the fact that you said, no, 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 no. You already know a lot. Don't, don't throw all that out with the trash. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Use it. And so yeah. that actually shaped my approach to you know, everything, using you know, your hard questions, answered easy methodology, but then remembering what I knew, because I did know about procurements. I did know about a lot of things that I totally told myself, forget about all of that and learn it this way. And that right there, as you pointed out, puts you at a huge disadvantage when you do that. So, Yeah. Like a lot of, I hear these people say it in the, I don't go on the internet, but like 
if they did, they say like, oh, just memorize, just forget, just do all these things, just bury your head. And I'm like, such a waste. It's so soulless and it doesn't work, which is the worst. Uh, but that's the way it goes. Uh, that's too bad for them. Um, the hard questions you mentioned that like, it's, it's good having you in there. Cause like very focused, very direct, like working through it, you know, you're locked in. Like, what did you get from those hard question calls? Like as you went through them? Well, again, it, it taught me to, well, first of all, the approach is just awesome. So, um, um, I, I'm a, I'm a private pilot <laughs> and learning to fly planes, okay. you have to go by checklist. And that, that methodology gave you a clear checklist that you could apply to every question, just didn't matter. And so that, that was first and foremost. And then secondly, uh, like I mentioned, being able to leverage what you already knew instead of starting from scratch, you know. Um, and so I learned uh, very quickly just after, you know, sitting through a couple of, of sessions and hearing everybody's approach to applying that methodology that, wow, this is a game changer. This really, really worked <laughs> because you go from you know, solving world hunger to actually just fixing one meal for somebody that's hungry to answer this question. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. Because you now, you know, your, your, your chance of failure for feeding the whole world, you're going to fail, you know, hands down. But if you can actually narrow down, you know, funnel down to the target, to, to the right answer, that that's priceless right there. So. Yeah. I like the way you explain that about like a lot of people are trying to solve problems that aren't there. Like they're like ghosts. They're trying to like solve everything. Well, this and that and the other thing. But if you laser focus down, like you said, and you're saying, what is the problem that we're trying to solve? You go for it and you knock it out. Then it's fairly logical. I mean, they're not easy, but it, it works through. So that's pretty good. Um, let me ask you, like, uh, there's probably people out there that resonate with your story. They took a long time, maybe failed in the past. You know, gone through the bad things. They're you know stuck in the mud in a sense. They can't get out of it. Uh, what would be your recommendation for those people to get back on the path and be actually successful? Yeah. So um, I definitely you know sing the praises of this this program to all of my coworkers. They 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 were very very interested. Their interest was piqued in the fact that I said, "Hey, this is a great program. I'm not doing it the old way." And here's what's different. And they were like, "Ooh." That is different. <laughs> and yeah. they said, well, let me know how that works, because I think we might want to do that. So my advice to anybody who has, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, taken the test and didn't pass it is to just uh, like I did. I knew that I had to do it differently. So make that paradigm shift and decide that I'm going to do it differently. Now, you may not know about, you know, this program. And I didn't. But I knew I had to do something different than what I did. The definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. <laughs> And so I knew I had to do something different. And once you flip that switch, the rest, you're on your path to success. You just have to find, honestly, this program. I mean, I don't, I've never seen another program like it. So I'll have to, you know, point people in this direction. Because, and, and then once you do that, then I think you're, you're set on, the, on a course for success because you know you have to change uh, your, your approach. So. There you go. I love it, Tony. Like, yeah, this is awesome, man. I mean, I like the fact that you like you, you owned your success. You said, Hey, I gotta do something different. You found it, you went for it, you stuck to it and you did amazingly. And it only took you, I don't even know, like a couple weeks, right? I could get the exact dates, but it was a couple weeks, maybe a month. Like what, do you have any idea? How long did it take you? I should know. Sure. Sure. So when I came to you and we first talked, it was like, I need seven days. And the reason I need the seven day program is because yeah. I needed to, and here, here we go again. This is something else that you helped with. Uh, that that emotional resilience, emotional intelligence aspect of it. Yeah. I said, I have to be prepared to fail. Well, no, you don't. <laughs> you really don't. <laughs> but so I said, so I have to give myself some time to take it, fail it, and then do it again. But I'm going to be committed to the approach. And so, um, yeah, that yeah. that's kind of, uh, I, but what ended up happening, though, is that started out seven-day program. And um, I wanted to, uh, I think we had, the, one thing led to another, I had to get to a point where you and uh, Salvador could assess where I was. And yeah. and then what I did, there's two other things that I, I had to understand to for success is uh, I'm, you know, I'm proud of the fact I'm 57 years old and after after the clock goes past noon, things kind of go downhill for me. So I have to take this test in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I cannot do an evening test. And so that ended up stretching it from seven days to two weeks to actually three weeks because the, the earliest availability of a morning slot for me was on the 31st. And so yes. that's why it ended up being about three weeks for me. But that's not bad. I mean, like 
five years to three weeks. I mean, like, you know, like three weeks is not bad. And you're probably ready before that, but just availability wasn't ready for you. But yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Before we go, like you mentioned Salvador. What was it like working with Salvador and the accountability calls around noonish time? What was it like? It it was, it was, I, I, there's uh, so wow. So without words, I can't really describe it. it. You know, it was great, but towards the end, leading up to getting ready, going into the exam, um, as Salvador mentioned to, uh, you know, when I was after the exam, when I was talking about the class, my, my grades on the test, the quizzes would kind of fluctuate. It's like coming yeah. out of the starting gate, it went straight up and I ended up going to like 78 on the third test. Yeah. And then I said, okay, Salvador says, do it again. And then I did it again. It's like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> Where are we going here? And so yeah. I call, I call Salvador and say, Hey, Salvador, what's up, man? He says, look, Tony, you know it. He, he's, that through as well as you did and 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 heard me do the the hard questions made easy and answer those questions and, and apply the methodology he said don't focus on those grades here's what i want you to do you know focus on these areas agile because you know there was an issue there yeah. uh and I, my background is waterfall and then he said um he said but after six o'clock thing and so i did um and then i started going through again you had another stellar module on uh emotional intelligence and prep you know preparing a yeah. battle plan for the exam. So I started going through that checklist again. I live and die by checklist about preparing for that, getting my mind right, getting rest and, and everything. Uh, so that when I went into the test, I had the right mindset and, and everything was kind of settled for me to be able to actually have a nice, strong start. Uh, and so, yeah, I, Salvador was great. Uh, strong. Yeah. I just can't, I don't have enough words to say how good it was. So. That's awesome, man. Well, Tony, I think you taught us a ton. I really, really appreciate you sharing. You did an awesome job. And I think if anybody listens to what you're saying, they're going to do exceptionally well. So yet again, uh, I'm really, really happy with how you did. I'm proud of how you did. And uh, this will not be the last time we chat. So thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Scott.